Nothing's ever affected my belief in music, because without music, I wouldn't be here. When I first met Alan, he showed quite, he'd, he'd come after quite a lot of negative experiences and these were at the forefront of his mind. Um, but as we started to talk and open up lines of communication, uh, we discovered that we both had a passion for music. He has spent a lot of time in hospital and, and he's hoping this is now his journey back into the community and, um, and he's very much set on that, on that goal of discharge. Basically, the guy who attacked me, he'd asked me again and again, uh, we bring some legalised drugs in. And I, and I shouted at him that day he attacked me. Face down on the floor and it wasn't until the police arrived that they got him off me and he, was, he punched me on the back of the head. So that's affected the mortar area. I've been in hospital non-stop for 14 years at the end of this year. When I'm playing the drums, I'm not mentally ill anymore. So since Alan has come here and we've got the drum kit, he's a different guy. I made sure I, I got my kit set up. The, Serena, the manager, Music therapy is, I think for most people, a real avenue of um, sort of managing emotions. For Alan, music plays a really key part of his recovery. But what I can see in Alan when he's playing the drums is a light in his eye and a cheeky smile and just that satisfaction that he's done a good job. We've all appreciated it. He likes a round of applause at the end of the day. Um, he is motivated to get better, he's got goals, he's, he's got targets that he's working towards. Initiatives like Music to Empower can really make a difference to a service user's life. I spent 10 years learning to play jazz rock. I wanted to learn to play it again how I like it and take another five because of the brain injury. But I know I could do it and that's the difference. I know I can. Not that I can't, I can't.